What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about how EA and DICE have stated that Battlefield 2042 has twice as many players as Battlefield 5 did at this point in time of the games being released. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky, where you can use code GRAVE at checkout for 5% off, and Amazon Associates. I have a ton of items that I use every day myself when I'm gaming, when I'm recording YouTube videos. Those are all linked down in the description, some things you might be interested in uh, for yourself to pick up for you or maybe for a gift for someone for Christmas. Also, be sure to check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate it if you would go ahead and hit that sub button. Now, when it comes to player count, it's kind of hard to base uh, any numbers off, you know, off of what we see by people playing on whatever platform you're on. We kind of have to go with what, whatever you know these companies state, whatever you know you kind of see sales number wise. And I know a lot of people will say the game can't have that many players. Well, I will kind of confirm that I play on PS5 a lot. Lately, I've been testing um, the kind of theory of let's, let's see what happens if I turn off crossplay. Will I still find a game quickly? Because that means I'm only going to be playing with people on PS5, and I can always find a game in less than 20 seconds. So that shows you there's a lot of people playing on new gen consoles. I'm sure it's going to be the same for Xbox. Now, when it comes to old gen, I'm not sure how well the game is doing there. I don't know anyone really that plays the game on old gen personally. Everyone that I know plays on new gen consoles or on PC. Now, when it comes to kind of how players feel about the game, if you look at, you know, Steam, there's a lot of, you know, like 40 or 50,000 dislikes on the game. A lot of that is because of performance. A lot of PC players saying the game does not perform well. They don't get high enough frames. And that is understandable. I can understand why they would be frustrated with that. But at the same time, it's one of the most played games on Steam. So that shows you it still has some popularity. And with DICE and EA stating that this game has as tw or twice as many players as Battlefield 5 did at this time during the first couple weeks of release, is pretty impressive considering the game is in a broken state. But it also shows you the game is very enjoyable when it works. It reminds me, like I said, a lot of Battlefield 3, a lot of Battlefield 4. And those are some of the games that I really enjoyed playing. I've talked about this in the past. All the games from uh, Battlefield 1942 up to Battlefield 3 were probably my personal favorites. I really enjoyed that time frame of Battlefield. Battlefield 4, I liked, but it was not my favorite. Of course, it came out in a broken state. Kind of reminds me of how Battlefield 2042 is. But Battlefield 4 was very enjoyable when it did work correctly. So it looks like Battlefield 2042 is still gaining popularity, but or still keeping a good player base. But in my opinion, for EA and DICE to continue that success. They still have to put in those fixes. They still have to improve the game, which I think can be done. We saw that with Battlefield 4. Uh, after about a year's time, it was a really good game. A lot of people loved it. And I think another reason that it may have more players is Battlefield 5 was kind of an odd one in the community. Either you loved it or you hated it. I was not a massive fan of it because I'm not a huge fan of World War II shooters. I've played so many of them in my lifetime. It was just kind of not my thing. Kind of like with Call of Duty World War II or Call of Duty Vanguard this year. I play Vanguard, but I don't absolutely love it just because of that World War II setting. Not a bad game, but just, you know, not my thing. I like those modern style games. I think that's why 2042, I kind of enjoy it, you know, for what it is right now until it does get fixed. Now, if it doesn't get fixed, that's going to be something, you know, another issue down the road. That's going to be something that people really won't play anymore, probably including myself. If they don't fix the game, it's just going to kind of be pointless over a, a certain point of time. You know, you're not really going to want to play that uh, much anymore. There'll be other things out. Uh, but overall, I think they need to get all these fixes in. I also think they need to fix the portal. I think the portal could have its own massive community. But right now, not being able to gain XP in the por portal because of all the bot lobbies and things they had, people, you know, XP farming, uh, having to turn that XP gain off in the portal mode has really hurt it. They said the portal player base has dropped off a lot. And I think they need to get that implemented back into the game quickly. That way... You know, we can have a big portal community along with, you know, just a regular multiplayer player base. Because I think that portal community could be a massive one. But if players, you know, don't get to play portal for a while, they kind of step away from it. If you wait several months to a year to get portal working correctly, you may never gain that player base back. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.